my best leg Suicide on the mattress in Atlanta, man, I'm something to my deathbed I got a buzz from all Benny up the Hempstead Duck in the big bone that I was breastfed Next. Yeah, I just say what I grew up and saw And if it's lame, I leave that up to y'all They say they, they say they can't see my southern draw But I'm southern to my bottom, kiss my southern draws Atlanta back then had a lot of, I would say, a lot of raw talent that was specifically Atlanta. That's a whole nother DVD. Um, I'm rapping on the third beat. You know what I mean? Anybody that came and really came with real good intention, Little John Roberts, uh, Chocolate Soul, Will from Chocolate Soul, Funk Jazz. I mean, these guys were already lit, but they were there helping the fan, you know? They For that one little wrinkle of time, right? We had all the promotional elements of that city all working together in sync for whoever might need them. <clears throat> for instance, we had WRAS on our station with the Weekend Wrecking Crew and Rhythm and Vibes and Urban Flavor and all those things, that, and that was, of course, very strong for us. We had WCLK with Ken Beatty and Ken Rye and, and Jamal over there, and they were pushing everything really, really hard for us. We had WRFG, uh, all those guys, you know, for each one of those shows, whether we were in format or not, they were still willing to really, really help push what we had going for the Yin Yang Cafe. Even from a commercial radio side, Greg Street and some of those guys, you know, although that was way out of format for them, but they still, you know, looked out for us. They still promoted it. They still gave us, you know, as much light as they could under the circumstances. So we had all that working together, all those little pieces in that one little wrinkle of time. It's almost kind of like lightning striking in a bottle. You know what I mean? Slowly but surely, the word started getting around town. Six months in, Line is out the door. Eight months in, line is out the door and down the street. So you gotta let two people in, two people out to let two people in. Play with the Chronicle, you gotta come with it. All right, I had to step my game up because I got lazy to just making records. So when I got in addition to that, we had the musical backbone. Best group of musicians that I've ever seen and worked with, and that was the Chronicle. Savage. Savage.